here. Today what we're going to do is we're going to make a wedding cake. And I'm by the ocean here and the bride and groom requested a ocean themed wedding cake. They're feeding about a hundred guests. So what I've already done here is I've uh, baked up a 6, 10, and 14 inch cake and I've covered it in rolled fondant. Now this cake could also be done in buttercream. Um, it just they paid for the fondant so I'm giving them fondant but um, all the decorations everything that we're going to be doing on the cake can be done on a buttercream cake. So to get started what I need to do are make the elements that are going to go on the cake. So down here in front I've got some of the items. Um, these are going to be just like little uh, kelp or seaweed type things that are going to go on the side. Uh, these are little ocean tubes. And then we're going to have a cake topper, and these are made out of fondant here, and these are uh, little seahorses that are made with these, this little cutter here, which is just a cookie cutter. Some of the items we're going to need, um, I have a veiner and some cutters here. You, uh, I will show you an alternate way to do these. These are tools that you would find either at a cake decorating shop or online. But there, you don't have to have those to do this, so I will. It's just faster if you do, of course, but um, if you don't have them, I'll show you a way to do it without, so don't worry. Um, to make these, you're going to need either like a, a toothbrush that, of course, you haven't used, and, or this is a bottle brush. You're going to need your basic tools, which would be a ball tool, um, a veining tool, something along those lines. And then we've talked about this cutter here. Now to do this, the uh, seahorses, this is roll fondant, but I did add something called Tylos powder to it. Tylos powder is an ingredient for gum paste. Gum paste is similar to fondant, um, only it dries harder and faster. You wouldn't want to cover a cake in gum paste because it would be too hard. But what's nice about it is I can just sprinkle some in my fondant. There's no recipe. I just kind of take some and sprinkle it. Actually, why don't I just do that, just because you can see it. So this is just some white fondant that I have here. So knead it up first a little bit to get the elasticity going. And then just open up your powder like this. And just take some, see, and just kind of sprinkle it on there and leave some on the table. And that way I can start kneading it and then just kind of knead it all in. And that would be plenty for this piece right here. And what it does is you'll actually, the fondant will get firmer, especially if you use this um, in a couple of hours or leave it um, overnight, it'll get firmer. This one I had done yesterday and that's, that's pretty firm. But again, what it does is it um, helps to make your fondant pieces dry quicker, uh, especially if you're in uh, more humid states, Florida or some other states that get a lot more humidity, um, you might want to add Tylus to a lot of your decorations. Uh, if you're finding that your fun decorations are just kind of sagging on you, um, that is something that you can do. Okay, and that's all we have to do with that. Mm -hmm. 